This is a big one, because if children don't get enough sleep, even for just one night, their thought processes can slow down, they are less alert than normal, and their ability to concentrate suffers. It's hard to remember and learn new things if they are sleepy and that also affects focus negatively. Inadequate sleep also cuts into working memory, an important part of focusing. It makes them less vigilant and reduces both their accuracy and speed on mental tasks. Quick and easy is the way to eat meals when we are busy. But, children need vitamins and healthy choices for meals. The brain requires fat and muscles need protein. An unbalanced diet with less fat and low proteins are notoriously bad for focus and concentration. And if the child doesn't get essential vitamins and minerals, including adequate iron, the child's ability to concentrate will suffer, and it will worsen over time. Loss of focus is a definite side effect of not drinking enough water and studies prove it. Dehydration can also lead to other symptoms that in turn reduce focus, including headache symptoms, fatigue and low mood. Even having just 1% lower than optimal hydration can cause lack of focus. Some families have communication issues or financial burdens and these problems can cause concern for the children in the home. If the parents talk about their problems without considering boundaries, the child can be overwhelmed. This can cause lack of concentration and focus at school. The child is worried or upset and may experience anxiety. If children don't get enough physical activity or exercise, they won't know how deeply their ability to focus is affected until they actually get moving. Consistently eating foods that support healthy brain function increases concentration, improves focus, and can even help the child have more patience with distractions. Encourage your child to drink a lot of water. Having enough water in their system throughout the day is one of the most basic steps you can take to help ensure good focus. Physical activities can do wonderful things for focus. One study showed that even if people have attention deficits, they can sharpen their focus with physical activity because it releases brain chemicals associated with learning and memory. A big task requires too much concentration and discipline, so it would be a good idea to divide it into smaller tasks. This could be applied to homework, housework, or learning new skills. Doing small projects, which lead to the completion of a major project, give the feeling of progress and movement, making it easier to focus. Unless engaged in something they really like, children might find it difficult to screen out distractions. You need to keep the environment where they learn, study or carry out tasks as distraction-free as possible. It is recommended not to read text messages or use cell phones while studying and doing homework. Repeating the same activity every day at the same hour, eventually, turns it into a habit. If a child sits down for homework every day at the same hour, after a while, when the hour comes, there will be less effort required to focus. The mind will know that the time for homework has arrived, and would be more willing to study. Set the time for completing a goal, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, etc. This might force the kid to focus, so as to finish the goal within the time limits. However, you should be careful with this, since some children might find setting time limits too pressurizing, and this could cause them anxiety and disturb their focus. You can train and strengthen a child's ability to focus by playing games that require thinking. Playing games that require focusing, planning and the use of memory combine fun with concentration. Giving children too many tasks and involving them in too many activities can be overwhelming and tiring for their brains. As a parent you should allow them enough time for pleasure and fun, so they don't feel too pressurized.